Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's video tutorial, I would like to teach you how to work the Tunisian moss stitch. As you can see, this is a beautiful textured crochet stitch that is easily created by combining two simpler Tunisian crochet stitches. So, the Tunisian moss stitch is a combination of the Tunisian simple stitch and Tunisian pearl stitch. So if you need to learn these simpler crochet stitches, um, I do have simple video tutorials that are really quick to show you how to work these two basic stitches. I'm going to show you quickly how to work these stitches, of course, in this video tutorial, but if you wanted to learn these two basic stitches first before you try the Tunisian moss stitch then um, you're welcome to take a look at the other um, video tutorials. Just before we start um, I just wanted to show you this bigger piece I have already worked up using this beautiful stitch um, and if you have tried Tunisian crochet before you might be aware that um, Tunisian crochet tends to curl quite a lot. Um, obviously the curl um, or the, the severity of the curl um, depends largely on which stitch you actually use and as you can see um, this um, Tunisian moss stitch, um, I haven't blocked it as you can see this is not blocked at all, um, I haven't done anything to it apart from worked up this sample um, and as you can see the Tunisian moss stitch doesn't curl at all that's the really good thing that you can see um, about this Tunisian moss stage. Plus, it's got a beautiful texture that you can actually use for a lot of different things, whether it's garments or accessories, um, homewares or bags or anything like that. So if you are in search of Tunisian crochet stitch that doesn't curl at all, um, Tunisian moss stitch is one of those stitches that you could actually use for your project. Um, the reason it doesn't curl is due to the pearl stitch. Um, I think the pearl stitch relaxes the fabric quite a lot. As you can see, it's quite, quite movable, quite nice. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the Tunisian moss stitch. So for today's video tutorial, I'm going to be using the um, rainbow sock wool from hobby and um, six millimeter tunisian crochet hook so to start we're just going to um simply make a slip knot and we're going to chain even number so i'm going to start with a chain of 10 There we go, so that's chain of 10. And to start any Tunisian crochet project, we're going to start working into second chain from the hook. So we're gonna insert the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And we're gonna leave this loop on the hook. And I'm going to repeat this across every single chain of the um, foundation chain. So insert hook, yarn over, pull through, pull up a loop, and we're leaving all the loops on the hook. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. And by the end of the foundation chain, you should have the exact number of stitches that you actually chained um, to start with. So two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. So we've got 10 loops on the hook. To work, so this, this is basically what's called forward pass. If you've never tried Tunisian crochet before, this is what's called forward pass because we kind of went forward. Now to work back, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first loop on the hook only. And to work the rest of the return pass, I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. So yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to repeat this of yarn over and pull through two all the way across 
until I only have one loop left on a hook. So that's my last two, yarn over and pull through. So this is the first forward pass and return pass of the Tunisian project, whatever you start in, unless it's specifically um, written out in a pattern of what the designer wants you to do. This is the standard forward pass and return pass of how you start um, any Tunisian project. So now we're going to um, combine the two stitches. Uh, so Tunisian pearl stitch and Tunisian simple stitch to create this beautiful texture of Tunisian moss stitch. So the first loop on the very edge we're just going to leave because this first loop that sits on your hook actually counters the first stitch. And to work the first stitch, we're going to work the Tunisian simple stitch, which means we're going to insert the hook under the vertical bar. I'm going to yarn over, pull through and leave the loop on the hook. So this is first Tunisian simple stitch. The next stitch, we're going to use Tunisian pearl stitch. So to work Tunisian pearl stitch, we need to put the working yarn to the front of the work and work the stitch. If you are just learning the stitch, please check out my other um, video tutorial for the pearl stitch. But basically you need to bring your working yarn to the front and what you can do is actually now insert the hook under the vertical bar, take your working yarn and yarn over and we're going to pull through holding the yarn and as you can see it creates this little loop um, at the front of the stitch which makes it look like a pearl stitch okay so we're going to be alternating the tunisian simple stitch and the tunisian pearl stitch in order to create the um, tunisian moss stitch so my next stitch is going to be Tunisian simple stitch. Okay, the next stitch is going to be Tunisian pearl stitch. And as you can see, because I'm um, a little bit more used to working the pearl stitch, I'm not going to be kind of dropping the yarn each time. What I actually do is go behind the working yarn with my hook, insert into the loop, and then yarn over. And as you can see, I'm holding the working yarn to the front, pull through, then I let go of it and it creates the little loop at the front. Okay, so my next one is going to be simple stitch again and pearl stitch. Simple stitch. Pearl stitch. So now I've got nine loops on a hook and to work into the very last stitch i'm going to work under both of the bars of the last stitch just here and just yarn over and pull it up so you still got two loops on the hook and basically what we did is alternated the simple stitch with the pearl stitch to, to work the return pass, it's the same as the very first one. So yarn over and pull through one loop. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. Like this. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All the way across all the loops you've got on the hook until you've got the last two left then yarn over pull through two until you've got one loop left on the hook okay so this is our first forward pass and first return pass completed now to work the second row we're going to basically work the opposite stitch into the stitch that's right in front of us so because the first row started with tunisian simple stitch i am now going to work the tunisian pearl stitch into the first stitch 
Then the second stitch is my Tunisian pearl stitch from row one. So I'm going to work the Tunisian simple stitch into that stitch. So basically it's working the opposite stitch to the one that's in front of you. So row two, because row two started with simple stitch, row two is going to start with a pearl stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work the first pearl stitch. Okay, my next one is pearl stitch. So I'm simply going to work simple stitch into that one. And now I'm just going to keep going, alternating the purl stitch with the simple stitch, working the opposite stitch into the one that's in front of you. And this two row repeat basically creates the Tunisian moss stitch, as you can see on the sample below. And again, and the both loops of the very last stitch okay so that's the second row completed as you can already see um that little moss stitch texture is starting to pop through so the return pass again is yarn over pull through one and then yarn over pull through two pull through two all the way across all the loops on your hook until you get to the very last two loops and then you just pull through until you have one loop left on a hook so here we go this is how you create the tunisian moss stitch as you can see in this textured sample so it's basically a two row pattern repeat um, I'm currently working on the other sides for this one. It's, it's going to be something very useful I'm working on. And the pattern will be available uh, for free on bluestarcrochet.com when it's finished and ready to go. But I just wanted to quickly film this tutorial in the process of um, making a sample. So I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Uh, if you wanted to see the written pattern uh, for this um, stitch and for the pattern you can find it on bluestarcrochet.com and um, until next time thank you for watching